for my set D-Day for um, Persco, the completion of boat number eight. Uh, about to leave, to actually get loaded and just send the truck out there. Um, on a massive journey to make it to Lisbon, to Portugal, where we'll finish all the painting and all the fit out. But um, it's been five months of some pretty serious toil here. Getting to the end of the party at uh, Persico Marine and uh, standing under uh, the team action of elbows. She's all uh, packed, ready to go for a big uh, journey to Lisbon. Uh, on the truck all the way through the middle of Europe to Rotterdam where she will go on the ferry and uh, hopefully arrive in a week's time in, uh, in Lisbon. Well, it's 12 o'clock, we're gonna leave. Every load is new. And all, and all the 26 years, uh, every day is a new day. Uh, every transport is a new transport. Every yard is different, different measurements, height, width, length, the weight. So you gotta improvise every time. First, how to load, how to get it there, with permits, all the special things. It's not normal. It's not going from A to B. Carry out a move like this, um, there's an awful lot of planning that goes into it in advance. You're doing a move that of an oversized cargo across many countries. So in the process of doing that, you need to work with the hauliers, make sure that all the permits and permissions are in place. Um, some of those permits in some countries can take months to actually get instated and get signed off. So you need to have the whole process planned out and work very closely with a lot of people. Bob Ocean Race is the biggest logistics challenge you can have in the world. Um, music events or other sports events. But you know what? If it was easy, Bob Ocean Race wouldn't need PC Pinner. This uh, trip was planned uh, from do this in uh, seven days. It took six days longer. But we did it. That's the main part. And the Volvo number eight is also here.